Okay, so just a quick review to catch up the recording. Our first step when we get a system is to rewrite it if we need to, to line up the like terms. So this was our system and we've rewritten it here to make the X's lined up and the Y's lined up. Our second step is going to eliminate, really which means subtract, one of the variables. And, this is a two-part step, solve for the remaining variable. So let's do that step. We're basically going to combine these two equations to solve for the y. Because the 3x and the negative 3x are going to cancel out y and 2y is going to give us 3y. <coughs> Negative 2 and 14 is going to give us what? 12. 12. So the y is equal four. to 4. And remember, our solution is an x-y pair. We have half of it. We know that the y is 4. Step 3 Use the solution in one of the original equations, and this is important. Doesn't matter which one, but it has to go back to these to solve for the other variable. So we know that the y is 4. We're going to choose one of these two equations and plug the y in. I'm going to choose the first equation because it's the easiest. 3x plus 4 equals negative 2. What did I do? I took the 4 that's a y and I put it in the place in this equation where the y is. And now I'm going to solve this equation for x. Subtract 4. We get 3x is equal to negative 6. Divide by 3. x equals negative 2. Now realize with this, this way of solving, we used the two equations and we worked with them by eliminating a term to find one of them and then we plugged it back in and found the other. Okay. You can now picture if I had two lines on the graph, they would cross at negative 2, 4. That's where they would intersect. Step 4, we already kind of did this but I want it in your steps. Write the solution as an ordered pair. Now, this was great because in our first two equations, 3x and negative 3x were already opposites of each other. What if they're not? That would be when we would need to use multiplication first. to get opposites. And we saw examples of that in the video in that really confusing page of like tons of equations with the middle, middle guy. Here is my system we're going to use as an example for this. 2x plus y equals 3 and negative x plus 3y equals negative 12. Going through my steps, we don't need to rewrite this because the x's are already lined up and the y's are already lined up. I cannot do step two yet because I don't have any opposites in there. 
So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to multiply one of these equations by some number to create an opposite. I could either multiply this first equation here by negative 3, because if I do that, I'm going to get a 3y here and a negative 3y up there. So let's do that. We're going to multiply this equation by negative 3. And it's going to change over here. Negative 3 times 2x would be negative 6x. Negative 3 times y would be negative 3y. And 3 times negative 3 would be negative 9. Negative 9. This equation is staying as it is. We don't need to change it. Where are my opposites? It's the y term this time. And I can cross that out. And then I'm going to combine everything else that's in there. Negative 6x and negative x would give us negative 7x. Negative 9 and negative 12? Negative 21. If I divide everything by negative 7, x equals 3. Question? If I was going to do the equation underneath it, I was thinking I would multiply it by 2, because then I'd get 2x and negative 2x. There's a lot of things you can do to create the opposite. But you want it to be with the x's or the y's, not this term. Okay, so now we're going to go and do the solution. We've got our x. We're going to put it into one of these equations. Do you guys want to put it in the first one or the second one? Second. Okay. Negative 3 plus 3y equals negative 12. Yeah. I'm going to add 3 to both sides because now we want to solve for y. 3y equals negative 9. Second equation. Divide by 3. You can plug it in any equation. Yeah. Y equals negative 3. So my xy pair x is 3 and y is three. negative 3. That's my solution.